I mean, the sport is very important for setting the table for those those life skills and those values to be learned. But at the end of the day, it really boils down to great coaches. So I started wrestling in second grade. My uh, my first wrestling coach was a guy named Freddie Richardson, who's actually in the Hall of Fame himself. And uh, it was Olivet Boys Club number four in, in uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. And uh, that's r- really where it all started. And and it was sort of interesting because, you know, he got me started. And as I made my way through elementary school, he started officiating at the elementary level. and. When I got to high school, he was officiating high school. I got to college, he was officiating in college. And just just an awesome mentor and a great coach. And and I attribute so much to getting started to, uh, you know, ironically to somebody that's already in the Hall of Fame. So from, from um, Wilson High School, I made my way. Uh, my first semester, I went to Shippensburg State College here in Pennsylvania, wrestled one semester there, and then transferred to Westchester State College. Uh, it's part of the Pennsylvania State College system, and uh, had had uh, again just more great coaches, more great mentors, and 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 uh, I pursued a health and physical education degree there, and um, uh, graduated from Westchester, and and then uh, my first coaching job was at James Madison University, uh, where I was a grad assistant wrestling coach and uh, pursuing a master's degree in athletic administration. So I was there from 1983 to 1984. uh, And then I had a short stop at Chowan Junior College in Murfreesboro, North Carolina. Um, I was the uh, the head wrestling coach, the director of intramurals, the director of a student center, uh, and a few other duties. And um, so I was there from 1984 to 85 and then uh, made my way to George Mason University where I coached from 85 to 1995. You know, like any other coach, I always enjoyed winning. Of course, you know, the success is always important, but I think more than anything, it was the idea of helping young people reach their full human potential, you know, through the sport of wrestling. And and uh, it was a privilege to, you know, be able to get at such a young age to a program like James Madison University and then to Juwan Junior College, which was a different experience with a different type of student athlete, and then ultimately to George Mason University. And it's kind of hokey, but a lot of times, you know, you hear coaches talk about, when you say, how would you define your career? And it, it's so true when you say, well, it all depends on what becomes of the athletes that I've coached. And, and as I look back at the athletes I've coached, you know, so many of them are doing so well today. And in the grand scheme of things, that's really what it's all about. Mike was a freshman transfer when I was a senior. You know, we were teammates, although he was a red shirt transfer and a little smaller than me. You know, he, he practiced with me, trained with me, and, uh, you know, was my practice partner uh, from the first time he walked into the Westchester State Wrestling. We knew that once he was done competing, that he had similar aspirations to, as, as I did, that he was gonna come and join the coaching staff. Almost every day since then, literally almost every day since then, we've talked. We, to this day, we, we talk almost every morning. I, I, I say this, I think a guy has a lot of friends, but very few, cl- very close friends. And, and, and that's Mike for me. And, and I, I, I think that's, uh, that's uh, me for Mike and vice versa. Mike Moyer is getting a lot of thanks, but he doesn't hear those because it's usually from the ones that really aren't like known. You know, he sometimes doesn't get the pat on the back that he, he really deserves. I don't think he takes anything for granted either. Just because now we have female wrestling that's helping us a lot uh, he, you know, he just, he probably witnessed the, uh, the Olympic thing, which female wrestling helped us a lot there. But I'm sure that he's not just counting on that to be our main thing that wins us over and keeps us strong. He's still wanting to work with that D1, D2, D3, junior college, uh, NAIA, 
He's still wanting to work with all of those pieces and work hard to give them what is needed to be a better sport. And uh, I don't know how he does it. And because of that, uh, we're in better shape. I mean, the sport is very important for setting the table for those, those life skills and those values to be learned. But at the end of the day, it really boils down to great coaches, you know, great transformational coaches that really are putting out the next great generation of leaders and training them through the sport of wrestling. So I'd like to just give a shout out to my wife, Beth Ann, and my son, Evan, for the incredible support they've given me over the years and my mom and dad watching from above. Uh, thanks for all the great support.